Central banks may disguise risk for a while, but they don't eliminate it. And one of the things that we're noticing these days is that the smallest improvement in yields, in sovereign bond yields, that the uh, recovery of commodity prices and that the abrupt improvement of the dollar exchange rate relative to most currencies those factors can derail the economic recovery. Why? Because the global economy is so levered and at the same time it's so indebted and with the same, uh, with the same carry trade, which is to aim at uh, leveraging the economy to a weak dollar, low rates, and continuing uh, expansion of monetary policy, that the smallest moves even on a relative basis, still historic lows generates massive ripple effects in the economy. Consumption weakens. Uh, the risk of sovereigns rises even with massive intervention of central banks. At the same time, reserves of exporters don't improve even when they're exporting more goods and services in uh, foreign currency because inflation uh, rises faster than real wages, than productivity. And what we see basically is that the economy is so bloated, so massively indebted, that the slightest move in uh, interest rates, that the slightest move in sovereign bond yields and a move in inflationary expectations that still remain very low can basically derail the alleged economic growth because all of the economic growth is based on two principles. One, that uh, savings have to be penalized Two, that debt has to be uh, basically uh, implemented and uh, given constantly and that the credit growth environment rises all of the time. Those two elements make it more difficult for the economy to recover uh, in an environment that is absolutely normal. Sovereign bond deals rising a little bit, uh, inflation coming back a little bit. All of those factors should actually be absolutely acceptable unless, as we are seeing right now, the economy is so indebted and so uh, geared towards a low uh, rate environment, high debt and weak dollar environment that the slightest move makes it derail. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, leave your comments below and keep defending freedom. Thank you very much.